Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm doing my what I got for my 21st birthday video, which was last Monday. Um, by the way, I'm sorry I haven't been posting my blog and on my YouTube channel as much as I would like to. I really, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of hard to explain, but I just haven't been up to posting blogs, YouTube videos a lot recently. So the last couple weeks, or actually the last month or two, um, there's been, like I would post a week and then I would stop posting for like a week or two. I would post a video again, stop posting for another week or two. I mean, I still obviously love doing blogs and stuff like that, but I, lately I've either, re there are two reasons why I usually don't post anymore. Um, one, sometimes I'm not even up to it. Um, two, I just don't know what video or blog to post, you know what I mean? Like, this week, I don't know if I'm going to post a blog this week because I literally have no clue what to post about, but... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But I do want to start getting back into it. So if you guys have any requests and recommendations on what I could post on my YouTube channel and on my blog. I will say, though, um, next week's video, obviously, will be my monthly book haul. So all the books that I got this month in August, I will be including in next week's video. I'll be basically, like I did last month for July... Um, next week, um, I will make a video showing all the books that I bought since my last monthly book haul. So, all the books I bought in August. So, yeah, a lot of the books, I, I have made some hauls this month, I think. But, like in today's video, you will see some books that will also be a part of next week's video. Because I did get a couple books this for my birthday. Um... But yeah, there are a lot of other books that you guys haven't seen. Like, I went to a couple yard sales today, and I bought, like, a good four or five books there. So, you guys haven't seen those books yet, but next week I'll be including those in my book, monthly book haul. So, yeah, um, I did get a couple gifts from my family and my friends, and I also got some money. So, I did buy a couple things that are in this blue bag here with some of my birthday money. So, I'll be showing that first. And then this bag right here. These Cracker Jills and Cracker Jacks are not a part of this video. I just laid them in there just because. So I'm just going to put those on my bed for now. But yeah, I'm just going to show all the books and stuff I bought with my birthday money. So yeah. Some of these I bought with my birthday money. Some of these I bought and I just got them just around my birthday. So either way, I'm probably going to show like the majority of the stuff in this bag. Because one, I can't remember what I bought with my birthday money in this bag. And two, yeah. Anyway. So, first, Tampa by Alyssa Nutting. I didn't get this out of my birthday money. Because like I said, some of the stuff in this bag that I will be showing. I bought some of it with my birthday money. And some of it I didn't buy with my birthday money. But I'm just going to show it anyway. Because I got this stuff around my birthday. So, like a couple days before or after. But I bought... Tampa by Alyssa Nutting. I literally pur purchased this from Amazon on my birthday, but I didn't get it until like two or three days ago, I think. But it sounds really sick and twisted. It's basically about a teacher, I mean Celeste Price, and she starts a new job as a junior high school teacher, and she has a singular sexual obsession with 14-year-old boys. It's very twisted and sick, and this teacher sounds really twisted and sick. But I am excited to read it. Yeah, it's been on my TBR for, like, ever. Um, when I first heard about it from Emmy Reads on TikTok. Emmy Reads 44, I think her username is. Or 3 fours. I don't know if it's 2 or 3 fours at the end. But, yeah. She made a TikTok of her um, reading this and annotating it. And it just sounded... It's Okay, I can't say it sounds really good because it is very sick and twisted. And I would never say, oh... A teacher sexually assaulting a 14-year-old boy sounds good. Nah, that's not what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, I'm, all I'm trying to say is this book has been on my TBR for like a good year or two. So, 
But yeah, like I would never say, oh, a teacher is sexually assaulting 14-year-old boys. That sounds really good. No, I'm not trying to say that at all, so, yeah. But yeah, because like sexual trigger warnings, by the way, I should have said that before I started talking about this book. But a teacher sexually assaulting a 14-year-old teenager is disgusting. Sexual assault is disgusting in general. What the heck? But yeah. I'm excited to read it. Like I said, it's been on my TBR for, like, ever, so there's that. And, yeah, I got this in the mall, like I said, a couple days ago, so. But I did buy it on my birthday, so I'm going to show it anyway. And then I have made the decision to... Oh, my God, I can't even find the words. I have made the decision to... Every Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's Day, Easter, every one of my birthdays that rolls around, and every holiday that I usually get a little something from for my family or my friends, I will get a like get myself a little gift, like fifteen dollars and under. So I got for my birthday, I bought myself Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Barron. This was a, what I mean by that is. This was 12, 12, 12 something, 12, 13 something on Amazon. Um, but after shipping and stuff, I had to pay like $20 for it. So I don't mean like shipping and stuff included. If the total before shipping comes to like $15 or under, I'll get it. But if it's like over 15 you know what I mean? I won't get it. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Just get a little gift for myself every holiday, every birthday that rolls around. Just, yeah. Gives me something else to look forward to that I ordered it myself. You know what I mean? But yeah. There's that. And there's also two other things in here which I will not be showing because they are my mom and dad's anniversary gift. Which I have to do a bit of filling out for it. And I have... What's today? August 25th. I have five days to fill it out because their anniversary is on the 30th. So, yeah. And then, um, what's this? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm in a group on Facebook for book lovers like myself called Bookish Sirens. And I saw a post on Facebook a couple weeks ago, um, just like two a week or two before my birthday. And it said, if your birthday is in August, leave a comment below, like, linking your Amazon wish list. And see if anybody book fairies you for your birthday. So I did get one. Um, and I got a little note. It says, happy birthday. Thanks for being part of our group and adding joy to it from Bookish Sirens. And who is this from? There's something, there's a little thing with her name on it. Who sent me this? Megan Ginther. That's who sent me it. So thank you. So she sent me one of the books on my Amazon wish list. It's a little novella, which I don't own any novellas, I don't think. But it's Mountain Man Candy by Frankie Love. It just sounds really good. And I'm not usually one with the men with, well, not just men, but any people on this cover. I love cartoon covers. But, I don't know, but this cover kind of like spoke to me. Not because the man is shirtless. I could care less about that. But yeah, I'm excited for this. To read this so there's that I'll, I just love also love the title of the book is that weird anyway moving on and then last thing from Amazon I have bought I have bought so many things on Amazon recently it's honestly disgusting I want to start getting in diamond painting again so I bought some Halloween ones to do just to put up on my wall during Halloween season. So I got a pack of four Halloween ones. I got one with... I got one with Michael Myers on, the, on it. I got a Hocus Pocus one. I got a Pennywise one and I think a Freddy Krueger one, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I do want to start getting into diamond painting again because I used to do that a lot. I still have a few unfinished diamond paintings in my house. But yeah, I do want to start getting into it a lot more. So I just bought a pack of four. So yeah, I am working now. So because before when I used to diamond paint, I didn't have a job, but now I do. So I don't know how much time I ha I'll have on my hands because like 
I wasn't supposed to work today, but I got called in. Um, and I haven't had a day off work since my birthday. Which, honestly, I have no problem with it because I love working there. Um, but yeah. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how much time I'll have in my hands with work and everything. So, I will try to start those diamond paintings as soon as I can. I mean, I still have like a good two, a little over two months left before Halloween. So, I don't think I'll finish all four of them by Halloween. But, as long as I get to finish at least one, that's all I really care about. Anyway. Now, the rest of the stuff in here, I got... Again, I'm going to show, like, everything in this bag. So, some of the stuff I bought with my birthday money, some of the stuff I didn't. But I'm not sure which I bet. Which, I, can't, I can't even speak. I'm not even sure what things in here I spent with, with my birthday money and what stuff I didn't. So, I'm just going to show you all what's in this bag anyways. So, I got this Halloween decoration. The first Halloween decoration of the year. I love Halloween, Christmas. The Burr months are, like, my favorite months. Except August. August... And every month after that is, like, my favorite. I live for those months. But, yeah. I got a light-up ghost. I don't think... I think there needs to be batteries in this. Yeah. I think so. But, yeah. And then I also got a bag of milk chocolate pretzel balls, which I've already ate, like, half of. And I shared some with my family as well. They are so good. I got these to put in my candy jar. Because I have a little candy jar. And I have a bunch of candy in it, and whenever I get hungry, I just take some candy out and eat it. And I got these to put in there. I, I'm, I'm freaking obsessed with these. They're Halloween Reese's, and they're shaped like pumpkins. I could, I live for these, honestly. And then I got a DVD called South Park Seasons 1, 21 through 25. I love South Park. It's hilarious. Cannot wait to watch that. Um... Of course, you know, y'all know me and my books. I bought three new books at Walmart um, last week, the week before. Anyway, I think it was last, yeah, last week because obviously I bought it, some of the stuff with my birthday money. But I bought The Freedom Clause by Hannah Sloan, The Accident by Linwood Barclay, and I kid you not, I was on Amazon, um, literally like two or three days before I, I bought this book and on Amazon I found this book on Amazon and I added it to my wish list because it sounded really good and I kid you not like two or three days later I went to Walmart and it was there and so of course I had to pick it up and so I read the back of it and I this has immediately like as soon as I read the back of it and like a few pages um of the book I didn't read all of it or like a full chapter. I just read a few pages of it and it sounds so freaking good. I cannot wait to read this. This, I don't usually, like, when I buy a book, it doesn't, I don't actually use up, use up. What am I saying? I don't actually end up reading them until like a couple weeks, even months down the road. So, but this, like, this is on my TBR and I want to read this like ASAP. It's, but with me, like... If you guys see my seen my book talk account, um, the TikToks on there, you know that every month I have a TBR and I try to stick through to stick to those six, five or six books, however many books there are that month. But I cannot wait to read this. This sounds so good. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. And then I got. Tribute by Nora Roberts. I have lately been getting into her books. I've only read one by her so far. But honestly, I've been in, I'm in love with some of her covers. Like, I have Northern Lights. That cover is gorgeous. I'm obsessed with this cover as well. Love it. And then... Oh. There's a pretzel ball at the bottom of the bag. Anyway. I got these for a future Halloween-related video. Because y'all know I do Vlogween every single year. And of course, I'm doing it again this year. Where I post every day in the month of October. So. Yeah. Um, this year I'm hoping to do a Halloween taste test video. Where I try different, a bunch of different Halloween snacks. So of course I got these for it. These are Halloween vanilla truffle cookies. Of course. They're Halloween. So of course you had to get them. 
And then the last thing in this bag that I got is a board game called Operation. I love this game. I played it, I think, maybe for like the first or second time ever with my dad at camp a couple months. No, last month, July. Um, July 15th, 16th or whatever. We were there at camp for the weekend. And me and my dad played this together and it was hilarious. And dad jumped when the buzzer went off. But yeah, this was hilarious. And I cannot wait to play it again. So I might actually see if I can get my dad to play this with me tonight. But yeah, love this game. So that's what's in that bag. Um, this bag here next to me has all my birthday gifts. Plus some stuff that I got with... Um, well, I wouldn't say with all my birthday money. But this also has a bunch of stuff that I got around my birthday. So I'm just going to show those as well. I got The Housekeeper by Joy Fielding. I have only read one book so far by her, and it's called The Bad Daughter. It was so good. One of my favorite books of all time. Read it. It's amazing. It's so twisted and sick. Um, trigger warnings, by the way. But, yeah. Um, so I got another one of her books because the first one that I read by her, The Bad Daughter, was amazing. Incredible. So good. So sick. So twisted. Probably will read again. Um, but, yeah, I got The Housekeeper. I'm not exactly sure what day I bought this on, but it was only a couple days ago, or like a week ago. So, yeah, showing it anyways. Um, I got some unicorn band-aids because they're cute and they're fun, and yeah. Um, I got these highlighters that look like little syringes, needles, things. Cute. Um, I'm not going to show, like, my birthday card and my money because, like, I'm just going to show you guys what I got. Um, by the way, I'm not trying to brag. I should have said that at the beginning of the video, and I say this in, like, every, what I got for birthday or Christmas or Easter video, but I'm not trying to brag. I'm super grateful and appreciative of everything that I got, and I know gifts aren't the most important thing in the world, but thank you to everyone who gave me something, whether it's gifts, just a card, money, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm not trying to brag, so if you think that I am, I'm not. That's not my intention, so I'm sorry if it comes across that way. Um, this one... It was like a little decoration. My mom ordered it from someone, um, and someone made it for me, or her, or us, um, to, to hang on our door, um, on the day of my birthday. It just says, happy birthday, Brianna. And of course, in the color blue, because, like, that's my favorite color ever. Um, again, I'm not going to show, like, my birthday cards or anything. I'm just going to show you guys, like, what I got, obviously. Um, my Aunt Gail, she made me a WWE little sign to hang up. Um, I don't know where I'm going to hang it up. Somewhere in my room. I have, I don't have much room left on my walls, but I will find a spot to put them. To put it, I should say. So thank you, Aunt Gail and Uncle Paul. I love you. I got a reading journal. Um, so basically, when you open it, it comes a little instruction manual. I mean, how cute. Um, so basically it says, if you found this, please be kind and return to and you include your name, your phone number, email, and your social media, and your reward. And then you write down your reading log, so basically the books that you read that month. So yeah, it just lists the months of January to December. Um, a little index, like how cute. You write down what page it starts, what book you're talking about, and how much you rated it. Love that, like what page in the, in the notebook. Daily reading tracker, I guess you cover, if you read that day, you would color in that square, kind of like how I do in my bullet journal. Books to read, just writing down books you want to read, basically, and then when you read it, you check it off right here. Um, same thing, reading list, you write down the book you read, the day you started it, and the day you finished it. And then every other page after that, basically... It has a page here for, like, notes, the page count, like, the your overall rating and your rating of the readability, setting, plot, whatever. Um, the day you started it, finished it, whether it was fiction or nonfiction, the title and the author, and all of that. So, I read a lot, so I think this would, I thought this would be fun for me to just keep track of all my books that I read. So, excited for that. And then, of course, I got a James Patterson book. Y'all know how much I love James Patterson. Uh, I got The Circle of Death by James Patterson and Brian Sitz. I got 
a really cute water bottle it says easily distracted by books obsessed with this which is like literally so true for me i every time i see a book like i just want to go up to all the books in a store and like spend the entire time in the store looking at them i got a pen and a lip gloss i got a scrunchie well a set of two scrunchies actually an owl necklace how cute I got, of course, I love my owls, so I got an owl, I think this is a wind chime, and of course, it's blue. I got an owl bag, a little tote bag. I got some slippers that says night owl, and a little owl on the other slipper. Um, what's this? I forgot what this is. Oh, never mind, now I remember. How could I forget my smartwatch? I gotta set this up. Every time I, every time Christmas or Easter or anything rolls around that I get gifts for, I never open anything. I usually don't until I make a YouTube video showing it all. That's just me. I got an, a little necklace. It's like a a pin with in the shape of an owl, and then. I got two notebooks from my parents. This one says, my beautiful daughter, happy 21st birthday. And then to my daughter who lights up my life, happy 21st birthday. Super cute. And then I got some socks. I got some Pringles. Love these. So good. I got a little orange um, mason jar mug thing. Love these. I don't own many of these, but I love them, and I can't wait to drink out of this. I got a hoodie from my aunt and my nan. Um, my pop, Howard, he's he passed away March 20th, 2017. He always used to say, you special you is. Every time I said love, love to, every time I say I love him, he would say you're special or you special you is. So they made me, a, or someone made me one, a hoodie. They ordered one that says, you special you is. Isn't that not the cutest thing ever? I'm obsessed. I can't wait to wear this, like, all the time. Um, and then I've been wanting one of these for, like, ever. And my parents got me one for my birthday, so thank you. I love you. Thank you to everyone who got me something, by the way. I said that, I think, before, but thank you again. Um, I got a Udi. It's a knockoff Udi. It's an oversized hoodie. And it's an avocado one. I really wanted the avocado one. So, yeah, I cannot wait to cuddle into this, not cuddle, read in English. I cannot wait to wear this. That's what I meant to say. And sit down and read in my bed. Oh my God, especially in the winter time, I could die. I'm so excited. But yeah, it's an oversized avocado hoodie or a knockoff hoodie and the pockets are just like this. I'm so excited for this. Oh my God. And it's so soft. Yeah, I love it. Anyway, so that is it for today's video. I think, yeah, that's all I got for my birthday. So again, thank you um, to everyone that got me something. And if you didn't get me something, and if you wish me a happy birthday, thank you for that too. So again, I'm not trying to brag, so if it came across that way, I'm sorry. But yeah, um, I had a great birthday. I can't believe I'm 21 years old already. I'm going on 22 next year. But yeah. If you guys enjoyed today's video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more content, content from me. And I will see you guys next week for my monthly book haul for August. So, yeah. Bye, guys.